Selection Sunday, just nine days away, and the bracket revealment can be seen right here on KPIX 5. The Dons are currently on the right side of the bubble, so get excited. As so many teams have showed us, if you're in the dance, you've got a chance for some March magic. Gonzaga, the slipper still fits. Sounds amazing for sure. I think uh, growing up, you always watch those Cinderella teams and wonder how they're doing it. And like you believe in the March Madness magic a little bit, and it's pretty amazing. But I think if that could be our team, it would be one uh, heck of a story. And I think uh, all of our guys would be proud of that. And uh, we'd be very, very excited for sure. Every Cinderella starts their journey with a buy-in mentality. We have a lot of older guys who were at their old programs, whether they're star players or whether they're best players. And a lot of guys came in here and sacrificed. Go to the basket. Like wow. that. that. <laughs> How do you like it? Wow. 23 wins later, the most for a Don's team since the reinstatement of the program, and now, for the first time since 1998, USF is preparing to lace their dancing shoes back up. I was 13 at that point, so, you know, this it has been a long time and something that, you know, since I've been here in my six years, both as an assistant and head coach, we've really been trying to work towards. He's confident the Don's are heading back to the big dance. The message to our guys is our body of work speaks for itself. And maybe, just maybe, the glass slipper will fit. Our team definitely has the potential to make a deep run once we get in the tournament. We have great guard play. We're a very, very veteran club, uh, just great inside presences. We can really shoot the ball. So with all those things kind of putting our pot and mixed up, I think we could play it to the second weekend for sure. It's a dream come true. I think uh, as a kid, you guys always dream of being in the tournament and being a part of a team that makes a run in the tournament.